Hey everyone, uh, Marty D here back at Grumpy Labs here to help you catch more fish in particular for this ice fishing season. Um, so as I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to go through some rigging techniques that have been very effective for myself and others I fish with. Uh, this is particular to Lake Simcoe fishing, targeting whitefish and lake trout. Now, before I get into the rig itself, I wanted to introduce you to our latest uh, really cool bait um, called the Mini Grubby. It's a two and a quarter inch bait, which we've always had. However, this particular line is now infused with UV. Now, if you don't know what UV is, I'm gonna show you, it's, it's super cool. So our first one here I'll show you is the Snowy Crackle, okay? Right now for you and I, it looks like it's a white bait, right? But as soon as you go like this, things change, right? It turns a really bright purplish blue color. That is what fish see because they have an eye that can sense UV. Here is the pink crackle. You can see again, it's very, very bright when you can add UV light to the bait. And we have the chartreuse crackle. Pretty cool very visible and very visible in any of the little light conditions that we experience, such as ice fishing, turbid water, or fishing at depth. So um, specifically for Lake Simcoe, uh, if you are not familiar with Lake Simcoe, it's one of the bigger bodies of water or, uh, that's basically surrounded by our Great Lakes in Ontario. And a lot of people both from Canada, out of province, and from the United States fish Lake Simcoe every single year. It's a hugely popular ice fishing destination and a lot of people target whitefish and lake trout. There's lots of pan fishing opportunities as well. Um, however, so one of the things you ought to know is if you're going to fish Lake Simcoe, the bait has flipped. It used to be that whitefish and lake trout would really focus on emerald shiners, uh, smelt, um, cisco, and that's still true. Uh, however, a lot, a lot of anglers now over the past five years have really started to see that goby have really taken over as a primary food source. And so, as you may know, all of our baits are really focused in on a style of goby, whether it's the goby head or the goby body. Um, all of our baits try to imitate some form of goby, not just for Lake Simcoe, but for all of our Great Lakes. And in particular, that's what that's one of the styles of baits that, that I think will be very effective for the 2020-21 ice fishing season. So how would I rig it up? So one of the things that, uh, that we often do is we'll do a rig such as this where we have some heavy jig on the bottom and then we have another hook up higher. And a lot of guys will run, you know, it could be a... a past traditionally a spreader on the bottom with some minnows for whitefish and then maybe five to 20 feet up they put a, a hook for lake trout and that's certainly still fishable uh, I think you'll find using um, this technique you'll be more effective in catching more whitefish and more lake trout um, but let's just get back on to track here so one of the things I like to do is when we start at the bottom you see here what I have on is uh, meats this is a plain meats jig, very popular for Lake Simcoe anglers. Um, I like to put a quick snap on it versus tying direct because it allows that bait to really rock nicely, giving it a higher, wider range of motion when we're dribbling it off the bottom. All right, so from the meats, come up, barrel swivel, or you can use a three-way swivel, heavy piece of fluorocarbon, and a plain hook, all right? This is a, a fluorocarbon anywhere from six to eight to 10 pound test. I run fluorocarbon all the way up until I hit my braid, a light braid to my ice fishing reel. So how would I rig, what, what, what styles of baits would I use here? Well, if I'm targeting whitefish, I really wanna focus in on a goby presentation. And so my, the bottom bait that I have, I'll use, for example, this mini grubby, which again comes in the UV. Uh, this particular one is called a copperback. We have other colors as well. 
in this part of the micro series. I like this particular color because it does resemble goby found in Lake Simcoe. So how would I rig it to the meats? Well, uh, more, more likely I would take that, rig it through the bottom of the head and just simply like this. And keep in mind, we designed our baits to be hooked in multiple different ways. You'll see the extra head size, which we've tried to imitate as a goby. Um, you can hook it directly through the body like this, or if you wish, there's enough plastic there as a, as a micro series bait. And this is a fairly big size hook for you still to hook it like this, okay? Um, in this particular situation, uh, the mini grubby is a great bait to hook up on the bottom jig. However, I really like this particular one that like looks very much like a baby goby. Um, so we call this the actually the mini goby, the baby goby, slightly slightly larger than that one. In this particular one, I would hook through the head and the body. So if you measure it out, you'll see where the hook comes, where it's supposed to come through the back, making sure that it's right directly through the head, coming down the center and out that part that we just measured. And presto, you have, you have the mini goby tagged to the meats. Okay. It's a very nice looking jig. Um, keep in mind again, that all of grumpy baits are infused with salt. So fish will, once they bite, hold onto that bait longer. They're infused with fish attractant. And I say infused, not just on the surface, but actually inside the plastic. They've, they're infused with fish attractant. Um, so it should attract fish to your bait. And now with some of our other baits, we have UV. Now, where would I use this particular bait? In this situation, lake trout like to be a little bit off the bottom. I would put a white color mini goby off this upper hook. And how would I hook that? I just take the hook and go directly from the bottom up through the head, just like so. Now keep in mind that our baits are somewhat buoyant. They're not all, the, the, some of our bigger baits where we really, really load up the salt, those will sink. These ones are lightly salted, so they're not going to sink as heavy. Um, and so what you're going to have is a situation like this where you've got two imitation gobies jigging off the bottom like so. And again, this is going to be more buoyant in the water, so it's going to kind of look like this. Okay. And this will definitely catch fish. Um, we've used this technique in the past using live bait, works. Um, now with our baits that we've already tested, this is gonna be killer for the 2020-21 ice fishing season. Um, one other thing before I end the video, uh, just so you're aware, while we do have the UV infused baits, and right now we're just looking at the, the mini grubbies, we do have a variety of other colors in the micro series. This is a natural goby with red fleck. This is a natural goby with green. Another natural goby with purple fleck. We've got your very traditional and very effective green pumpkin and a very traditional and very effective smoke color. And these colors are available for our entire line of micro series. So we've got the two inch micro grubby, we've got the two and a quarter inch mini grubby, and we've got the two and a quarter inch mini goby. Okay, and all of these colors, and again, the UV currently are only available with the mini grubby two and a quarter inch. If you have more interest, please visit our website, grumpybaits.com or check out a local retailer. We're currently selling through Natural Sports in Kitchener Waterloo. We've also got baits at Angling Sports in London, and we've got baits in Angling Outfitters in Woodstock. Marty D signing off. Be safe out on the water. Keep your distance from others. Let's get rid of this COVID mess. 
and hopefully we'll see you on the water. Tight lines, take care.